How do you handle a customer complaint? As an entrepreneur, as a sales guy, as long as you're selling stuff, I don't care, tangible products, intangible products, if you're working in the industry long enough, whatever industry you might be in, a decade, two decades, three decades, there is a high chance that you're gonna have a customer complaint. And when a customer complaint rises, it is how do you handle it effectively? Today, I wanna share with you my perspective on how should you handle a customer complaint effectively. To me, step number one is to make the matter, make the complaint urgent and important. I think most people, they take customer complaint very lightly and they delay the complaint. They don't wanna make the phone call immediately. They wanna wait for a week and try to see if you can brush the customer away. Some people even try to avoid it and not, not to return the call, not to reply email. And I think that's a mistake because I believe that one good customer will probably spread the good news to another person. But one bad customer could spread negative news to 20 other people. When you make a phone call right away or reply email to your customer right away, what does that show? It shows you that you actually empathize the customer. You actually care about their problem. So that leads to the step number two. When you get a hold of the customer, don't come on as you are immediately defending yourself or defending uh, your, your, your product or defending your service. You need to come on as someone that is empathizing them sincerely, not by act, but sincerely and open up yourself. Why are you not satisfied with my products? What can I improve to make you happy? Are there anything that I did wrong personally as a sales rep that make you unhappy or are you not happy with the service? That's, the, that's important. Sometimes the customer is not happy with you personally. They're happy with the product. But some customers, they're not happy with the products, but they're okay with you. And sometimes they're not happy with the both. You need to be asking those questions. So when you come on as someone that empathizes other people's problems, uh, madness, complaints, then it will also show that you're in a totally different level of professionalism because you don't come on as defending, aggressive, and uh, just kind of ignore your customer totally or being so aggressive on, on, on telling them they are wrong. Even though sometimes, and most times, they could be wrong, but you still need to listen to what they're saying. Then the third step of how to handle a customer complaint it is now re-explain your product right? Re-explain what they purchase. If it's a tangible product, re-explain the value of that product. If you're selling service, re-explain the value of that service. Sometimes customers might just misunderstood what they bought. It's called the buyer's remorse. You need to recap, resell, re-engage, and then ultimately reassure your client that what they purchase it is a product that can add value in their life, right? And then ultimately, the last step is come up with solution or solutions. Uh, I don't know what products you are selling. There are different industries. Some industry can offer discount. Some industry can do buy one, get one free. Uh, some products, it all depends on the industry that you are involved in. But the ultimate bottom line is you need to come up with a solution that will make your customer happy. And sometimes customers just want you to make a phone call to make them feel that you're actually listening to them. And I can tell you, if you're willing to do those few things, 99% of the customers that had the complaint will be absolutely okay with you. Not only they're gonna become okay with you, now you're gonna regain a very loyal customer in your line of business. JW here, and I hope this helps. See you next time. JW here. If you like my content, comment below and download my JW Just Win app. See you next time.